What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Jammer Rewinds. Today, we've got an estate sale pickup um, that has some spillage from a few other things. So let's take a look and see what we got. Access granted. I actually already recorded this video and I did not like how it sounded. I was not very energetic. I was kind of like, here's what I picked up. Nice weather. If you know me personally, uh, you know that I'm usually sh just crazy most of the time and I'm not going to put a video out that I'm not happy with. Because uh, if I'm not happy with it, I know you ain't gonna be happy with it. So let's go. VHS. Went to an estate sale. This estate sale was the second day, third day, don't remember. Uh, but I do remember that um, everything was like, I think 60% off, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was 60% off. And of all the stuff that was there, there was something I really regret not getting. It was a little marksman BB gun, a little handheld, looked like a 45. Um, and I uh, really wished I would have picked it up. They wanted $40 for it. And even with the 60% off, it would have come down to, I think, like $24 I factored. So I looked it up on eBay just to see if I was getting a good deal or not. And uh, that was the average selling price of that little BB gun. So I left it behind. In hindsight, should I have picked it up? Yes, because I like to have guns as a deterrent. I don't live in a bad area. In fact, I live in an area that's full of loving uh, people that love guns. I'm out in the redneck country. But um, I will tell you that I left it behind. But what I didn't leave behind was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to keep for myself as well as to flip. So let's go through some of this stuff that I think I'm keeping all of these. I think this was my keep pile. Number one, look at this. Disney cartoon classics. Here we do the Halloween one. Uh, Halloween haunts. Love this. I remember, I, I know Mom, you'll have to tell me, but I feel like we had this. Maybe we didn't. This is a beautiful condition uh, copy that'll go into my collection. I'm not collecting VHS unless it's sealed. So all of this is going to be a complete and total lie <laughs> uh, because I made myself a promise. I'm only buying sealed stuff. This is not sealed though. This is Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I don't know, I might give this to a friend of mine that I know collects Charlie Brown stuff. I might keep it, it is VHS. I don't know what's wrong with me. Bugs, Bunny, and Daffy Duck in wartime cartoons. This, I love. This I wanna keep because this is, it just goes to show how times have changed so much, right? Here's cartoons which were designed for kids and kids were curious about what was going on. And this is literally about the war that we had gone through as a, as a world. And, um, and I just think that today's day, it, don't, it just doesn't happen like that. It's, it's so different. So I'm not gonna go down that road. But moving on from there, we got Popeye. Look at this, not factory sealed, whatever. But um, I've never seen it. And I didn't realize Popeye is played by Robin Williams. Very, very cool. This one though, I am keeping for myself. I have a copy of it, but what I didn't have was a factory sealed copy. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Paramount, you can kind of see, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can point it out. If you can kind of see, cause it's white. See there's like little lines right here with my fingertip, a little line right there with my fingertip, little line. Those are the stamps from Paramount. That's how you tell if it's factory sealed um, is when it has the, um, the, um, I can't remember what that's called. Watermark. There you go. Then Kristen popped in a second ago as well. And she said, hey, do you want some CDs? And I'm like, maybe, I don't know. Because she had bought um, something from a lady and there were CDs in there. So look at that. We got some CDs. This one's weird. Dr. Demento and the Greatest Hits. Who the crickets is Dr. Demento? Um, I mean, look at the front of this thing. What in the weirdness is going on there? Christmas novelty CD. But I opened it up because I was curious. And there's a picture of Weird Al on the inside. So I don't know, but I do know this has Elvin and the Chipmunks on it, has Weird Al on it, has somebody named Spike Jones in the city. Every time the doorbell goes off, it never fails. I guess on one hand, it's a good thing. 
Anyways, uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer and a bunch of other stuff, I think was on this. I don't remember. Um, Brian Seltzer Christmas CD. I'm debating about keeping this or not. I do like Brian Seltzer. This one I figured definitely I would keep. This is the Muppets, uh, John Denver Christmas. Um, this one I thought was really cool. This is a promotional, not for resale. I like to buy those, not for resale, uh, promotional only. Uh, Disney album. I don't know how somebody would have got this because this says exclusive limited edition music CD, but yet promotional and not for resale. I don't understand that. But okay. Oh, this was the last one. This is Rudy the Redneck Reindeer. This has red the Redneck 12 Days of Christmas. Grandma got run over by reindeer chasing the neon reindeer. The Boogie Woogie Santa Claus. I mean, there's like 10 different. I won't bore you with the rest. I thought that was really funny. We'll pop it in at Christmas time and see what it's got. Those are to keep. These are to flip. Real quick. And these are all going to bring me some decent money, 10 to 15, 20 dollars a piece, something like that. But I got a DVD here of Johnny Treasure, Johnny Freeman. I don't know, whatever. Oh, sorry, these are to keep as well. These were at the same estate sale. Land of the Lost VHS. These are from the late or mid 1970s. I think it was 74. Yes, 1974. Land of the Lost. I am stoked to try to watch these because I've seen them before, but I've never. Uh, bought them and I got three factory sealed VHS. First one is Westward Ho, even still has the security stuff on it. Auto Flip, Quest for Fire. Look at there, you got your watermarks right here. And we got another Disney, Rob Roy, the Highland Rogue. So, anyways, these three and this down here paid a buck a piece. Um, I think they're 10 to $15 a piece, something like that. So, even if you figure 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, to $60 um, for $2 worth of investment. That completes that portion of it. Let's move on to the next. I'm gonna digress from the estate sale for one second. I picked this up, it's called Primal. I've never seen it before. Um, I was at a, I don't know, a thrift store somewhere over in the St. Pete area. And I saw it over there and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And, um, it has the instruction manual. It looks like it's in great shape. It even has a registration card. So either it's a good game and somebody took good care of it, like I would have, or it's a trash game. Um, it is by Sony. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out if it's good or bad. But that's a digression on that one. Back to the estate sale. Although I already own this because Kristen got it for me for Christmas last year. I have two copies now. Why do I need two copies? This is what I talk about hoarders. Mm -hmm. I am gonna sell it off though. Um, I'm gonna compare it to my copy just to make sure that you know everything I have in mind is pristine as possible. And then I'll flip this off to whoever is interested in it. But let me tell you what, it is a very fun game if you like quick board games. I mean, it follows like here, right? Like in the beginning here, you're parachuting and you go around. Then you're going through the river. Then you're going, um, is it through the river? Yeah, you're going through the river and you're going here through the jungle. Then you go through the ruins and uh, and you gotta get, and whoever gets the diamond wins. And uh, it's a very quick, fast paced game. It might take you 15, 20 minutes at most to play it. It's my kind of game. Moving back to Gucci Will paid $4.99 for this. This is called American Heritage Battle Cry. This is a very old board game from Milton Bradley. Everything is there. Um, it's not in like ooh ah condition, obviously. Um, I think it was uh, a bit moldy wherever it was stored at because you can kind of see that there's definitely some, some mold in here. Uh, but everything is here. Um, the Civil War and online history instruction booklet even tells you, which I thought was really cool here. Hold this just up so you can see right here. Other board games in the collection. So you have um, you have Battle Cry, which is this. You have Dogfight, Broadside, Skirmish. Um, very very cool. But again, all the pieces are here. I'm gonna see if I can convince the kids to play with me, and if not. I'm gonna flip a coin as to whether or not it stays in the closet until one day I convince somebody to play it with me. 
or I'll just flip it off to somebody else because I couldn't just leave it at Goodwill. I just felt like somebody's not going to appreciate it the way I would uh, because I think that's really cool. All right, that completes this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Access granted.